everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a bit of a different video today we're going to be doing your past life okay so i was really told by my guides that i needed to do a past life reading so that's what we're going to do today so today i've decided that we're going to have two different groups so you have to pick a pile and then within that pile there will be two groups the first group that you're going to be choosing is your personality okay so if this personality that i have and i am telling you doesn't match up with your actual personality now then it's probably best to choose another group where your personality matches up with that pile okay and then once we've ch once i have successfully shown you uh your personality and it's it's matching up and it's resonating then that will move you on to your past life okay so what we're going to do is going to choose group number one two three four we have group number one with the pyrite group number two with the selenite ball group number three with the peacock ore and group number four with the titanium or a quartz okay so i want you to choose a group using your intuition and we're gonna see what your past life is so let's get started with group number one hello group number one with the pyrite let's get started with your reading okay so first of all i'm going to describe your personality and if it does resonate then please choose another group or you know maybe this video isn't for you okay so let's get started so we have seahorse spirit watch and wait 53 we then have the lizard spirit dream your world into being or dream the world into being and we also have white raven spirit trust in the magic okay we then have the nine of swords queen of pentacles and the lovers this is in the reverse i think this is in the reverse okay so let's have a look here and see what we have so first of all they're showing me that you're most likely going to be a fire sign uh, or you have really fiery qualities okay you're the sort of person that goes straight after what you aim for you are really really determined and sometimes you rush things and you're quite quick on your feet you're very quick thinking very very quick thinking you prefer to be like hot countries um you could also be a water sign i'm really fearing fire and water if you're not any of those signs that's totally fine just if i describe your personality and it lines up then just that's totally fine whatever if you feel like this resonates that's how we're gonna do it okay so the seahorse spirit i feel like is a very very gentle creature they are somebody who they watch and wait until it's the right moment, but I do feel like you are very determined. I feel like you're the sort of person that once you find something, you really go towards it, okay? You're not the sort of person to dilly-dally, kind of wait a little while, you know. You can wait, but I do feel like you are a more impatient person. You do have a very, very strong trust in spirit, though. I feel like you are very, very connected to spirit. You're very, very spiritual. Um, you're somebody who also likes to save money. If you're someone who don't like to spend money, this isn't the group for you, okay? I really feel like you're very, very good at uh, saving money. You're very, very good with money. If you don't necessarily like saving money or enjoy saving money, I feel like you're very, very good with your money. You know, I feel like you're very, very practical. You're a very practical type person. In terms of love, I feel like it can be quite hard for you to love. You can sometimes keep people at a distance. It can be quite hard for you to connect with people um, on a human level sometimes because sometimes you can't understand social cues or you can't understand sarcasm okay um there's also a sense of anxiety i feel like you guys have quite high anxiety or you have a tendency to kind of jump into things and then possibly regret them okay uh let's see what else there is you do have definitely have a foundation you love building foundations you are quite sensitive though you're a highly sensitive person I'm feeling like you're the sort of person that is always observing everything, always observing, always looking at things. Whenever you go into a room, you're the first person to observe everything. You know, you observe your surroundings all the time. You're the sort of person just to just watch things. You know, you love watching things. You're a people watcher, maybe even a people pleaser a little bit of the time. Uh, let's see. You like opposites, I feel like. I'm not sure what that means, but you like opposites black and white you could be a black and white person in terms of like you see things in black and white you see things in two ways you can be quite flippant in your personality as well kind of like this sometimes you're really aggressive sometimes you're really calm but you are quite an intense you have got quite an intense personality okay you also love to spend time in nature and you love watching birds okay uh also you are very very drawn to reptiles and sea creatures in particular birds reptiles and sea creatures so 
that is your reading first section if that resonates with you then let's get started into your past life reading also we have, we have the number six i'm really not being drawn to these numbers they put um five three okay five eight and six are your numbers if that could be your that could actually be your life path number as well and that's going to be extra clarification for you also you like mandalas so let's get started into your past life reading okay so let's get started group num group group num <laughs> Wow. <laughs> let's get started group one with your past life. So let's see what we have here. So let's see what we have in your past life. This is just going to be people related. There is no past life uh, being reincarnated to a dog, an animal, a, a being, that sort of thing. It's going to be people only. I did ask Spirit and they said no, just people, just human beings, okay? This is basically what it's going to be your past life would be about. So we have the Magician. Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Didn't we just have the Queen of Pentacles? That is so strange. Let me check. Oh my God, we had the Queen of Pentacles. We had the Queen of Pentacles twice. So that is definitely a sign this is going to resonate with you guys. Okay, that's amazing. So let's see what we have. Also, we have Healer, gorgeous. And we also have Wisdom and Conceive. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look into this first row that we have here. Let me just tune in to this person. Okay. So I see this person as being the, they're telling me the age of Aquarius without the age of Aquarius actually coming in. I feel like this could have been in the war and you are a female, okay? Um, definitely a female. If you are a male watching this, you can, I, I, from what I believe in, you can reincarnate into a different gender. Um, but I definitely have a feeling femin feminine, if not a feminine male, a male who is very feminine, okay? But I'm just seeing a woman, specifically, who is wearing a suit, and she's in an office, but it's in about the 1940s okay and my history is really bad i can't remember if that was when the war was i'm pretty sure it hadn't had ended yet but it, you are wearing like a very old kind of your suit that you're wearing you're wearing a suit um and you're wearing a almost like a cap like an almost like a like a, is it a cadet a cadet cap and this is really testing my history right now so it's almost like you are a pilot, but you're also a, I am mean, getting a pilot historian. Okay, I'm getting so many things. Okay, getting pilot historian, agent, secretary. So you could have had various amounts of jobs throughout your life, but I'm feeling feminine, female, woman in the 1940s, wearing a green, almost like, pilot but it's like a really rough material so it's very old like a very rough material green like dark green and this person is very very career orientated she is i'm feeling she's in mid mid 20s so about 25 to 28 this is this is obviously a general reading guys so when i actually do past life readings it's more specific but i'm just trying to cover all bases here trying to be a little bit more general. I definitely feel like you are somebody who really wanted the higher best thing for humanity, but you were stuck almost in a timeline. It's almost like you were ahead of your time. So you're somebody in the 1940s who was actually made for the 21st, almost like the 21st century with computers and things like that. I feel like you were ready to almost have yourself a computer to make your life easier. You were like, why is my life so hard? I just want to make my life easier. But there wasn't the technology there, okay? You were very career driven and I can see you saluting and doing that with your like putting your hand up to your head and your forehead and you're saluting. So you could almost, and I said an agent, so you could have been somebody who had a double life. You could have been somebody in the war who was a, of the secret, the secret society kind of thing where you were somebody who impersonated somebody to get information from another country 
for another country and I'm feeling America or Britain I cannot I cannot pick I cannot choose okay and you are very very drawn to intellectual things so anything to do with maths geography history typing so you could have a typewriter if I think they had typewriters back then <laughs> this is really testing my knowledge guys but you really really want to be a healer okay you as I say you were ahead of your time you just wanted to help humanity you just wanted to heal humanity you couldn't bear looking to see all this destruction but you were very comfortable being in the position that you were in because you'd had a duty that you had to do you could have actually had a child in the war I'm seeing you had it at the end of the war so it just ended and then you became pregnant or you were having the baby at the end of the war but it felt very like open I could feel like an opening of like obviously the childbirth and also an ending of the destruction you know so as I say very very wise past your time I actually didn't realize this said wisdom that's pretty cool very very career driven somebody who just loves to create as well you're somebody who has so many ideas you're somebody as I say ahead of their time so you had so many ideas of inventions you were like I just want to connect to more people when the internet wasn't even a thing and stuff like that so you're very very ahead of your time very hmm I need to burp excuse me you were very very um precise i'm getting the word posh but i'm not feeling you're very posh i feel like your accent is very british actually but i do feel like you have american descent so you could have been into america and then into england there's some sort of crossover between america and england um i'm also hearing germany as well so that would make sense with all the different countries in the war um yeah and then once the war was over and you were became into your elderly age so 60 plus you really love being in nature, you love quiet time, you love anything that is just pure nature. That is your reading guys, I really hope this resonated with you and you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. Also, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group two with the Selenite Ball. Let's see and have a look into your past life reading. So let's see. As I said in group number one, this is going to be just people in your past life. It's not going to be reincarnated into an into a animal or anything like that. It would just be human beings, okay? So let's have a look into your reading. Let's start off with the personality portion and then we're going to look into the past life portion, okay? So let's have a look and see what's going on. We have Koi Fish Spirit, there is always enough. Skunk Spirit, know your worth. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. We then have the three of wands and the five of wands, gorgeous. So similar to pile number one, you guys have a lot of fire in your chart or are very fiery. I do see you could also have uh, earth and water, possibly a little bit of air. Air is not so much important in this group, but I do, I'm sensing a little bit of air, okay? So it doesn't have to be the actual star sign. You could just possess those type of qualities, okay? So also, if you don't, if you're not any of those star signs or you are an air sign and I haven't mentioned strong air signs, then actually no, I'm going to take that back. I do feel air signs because of this cloud. So I'm going to say all the five, all of the star signs are here in this reading, okay? So specifically though, Pisces and Aquarius and Taurus, okay? So let's get started. So you're sort of person who is very, very positive. You're very positive minds. You have a very positive mindset. You're somebody who's very, very optimistic. You're somebody who um, knows your worth, okay? Sometimes you can be quite insecure. Sometimes you swing from side to side in terms of your insecurities. You may feel very insecure one day and then another day you feel like you can take on the freaking world or you could just be generally shy all the time, okay? You're somebody who is very, very good at thinking about maths or you are a very logical thinker. You are somebody who looks at a situation, surveys it and thinks, hmm, and you're very rational, okay? So the number four, seven, five and six and three, very, very strong. I'm really, really connected to number four. We had it, have it doubled. And number five here as well and number three. So if you are resonate with those numbers, you see them quite often, repeated, or that's your life path number, that's, that's extra clarification, or you just connect with those numbers. 
I'm really getting them, uh, really getting the colour pink and blue as well. I'm really also getting um, a florist or like I'm, I'm seeing this as like a dead flower, but in a nice way. So you know when people press flowers um, for crafts and things like that. I feel like you like crafts and things like that. You love diving deep into things as well. You're a very deep thinker. You like uh diving deep like pearls like this kind of reminds me of a pearl and i'm feeling a pearl so you love like diving deep into things and finding things that in weird places and this can be um in terms of people you love people who look kind of strange or unusual to you and you find them really really interesting okay you could also connect with these animals the fish skunk or pig we also have the three of wands or the five of wands. You're somebody who tries to avoid conflict at all possible stages, but you could also be somebody who is very assertive, someone who would kick somebody in the face if they were being really horrible to you, okay? But you are a very nice person, you don't like conflict, but you would defend yourself if someone was to come at you and punch you, you know, or something like that. Uh, touch with that they wouldn't. <laughs> uh, we also have the three of wands, so you're somebody who loves to travel, you're always thinking outside the box, uh, so you're somebody who loves to be a free thinker. You don't like to be confined by other people's judgment, you don't like to be confined into a box, you're not the sort of person who likes working nine to five or working underneath somebody in terms of having a boss on top. You're somebody who possibly likes long flowy clothes, you like, you like the colour green as well, you like wearing colour green or red, and you possibly have been in something like the brownies, the guides, something where you'd have a sash with badges on. You could also be somebody who you see yourself as an angel, you are possibly very angelic or you connect with angels very very strongly, um, and you are quite an innocent type, you may have a baby face as well, a very young face and you love to connect with animals, very very strong animal lover. Um, you're the sort of person that would pick up a spider when you were younger or a worm or something like that and think oh my god that's so cute, let me keep it, you know, you're the sort of person who also like to pick up stones and rocks and, and flowers when you were younger and keep them and also maybe now, you know. So you could also be working with animals currently or want to be working with animals or children. And you could also have, I'm getting drawn to the word mother, so you could be a mother or you could it's something to do with mothering, you may want to be a mother or just be very connected to mothering instincts. You really, really love to love, okay? Got that song, Love to Love, in my head now. So, if it resonates, if this resonates with you, then let's get started with the past life portion. If it doesn't, then that's totally fine. Pick another group or, you know, maybe this video isn't for you. So, let's get started, guys. Okay, so let's have a look into your past life and see what we have here. So, let's start with the tarot. We have a lot of tarot today. We have Hangman, Knight of Wands... Wow, I've got a lot of reversals, the devil, oh I'm getting a very witchy vibe from this. Strength and Ace of Cups, beautiful. We then have Trust, very witchy, Let Go and Music, okay beautiful and then we also have Bless and Stillness, okay this is so interesting. Wow you guys have got a really big group it just feels very like a big life it feels just very fulfilled i feel like your life was very fulfilled right so i'm definitely feeling somebody who's very very witchy okay in a past life you were possibly a witch a shaman in a tribe like i'm getting an omen so you're always the person that people came to when they needed help you really were connected with horses and lions very big animals are very proud and kind of somebody who just really loves to be a leader, okay? Or a strong, strong leader in a past life. You're somebody who was extremely caring, always caring for your 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 people. I'm hearing your people. I'm definitely feeling an Aborigine woman from a tribe, and she is the the highest person of the whole tribe. Everyone came to her for wisdom, and I'm seeing I'm seeing runes and and symbols, so you're the sort of person that would predict the future for others, um, or you would really be able to connect with nature and the animals, and animals would listen to you and they would almost just lie down in front of you to pay respect to you almost. It's just very connected and spiritual and just, it's very yummy, like this energy is just so yummy. Okay, so we also have the hangman with the knight of wands. So when you were younger, you could have been somebody who had very, very low confidence, okay? And it feels like you were somebody who you didn't actually want to be in charge, okay? 
you loved people but you always thought other people should rule them you know and you weren't going to be the one who was in charge but you were born into this family and you were almost pushed into it by the people not in a bad way you were actually voted because you were the best to lead and you possibly didn't have confidence in yourself because you were so empathic and you thought no it's fine like somebody else can do it but you were like really really strong and you really really wanted to do it you were a sort of person to cure people okay so in this life now that i'm the person that i'm talking to now in this life now you could be a healer or you could be a carer you could be even a psychic because I feel like you have those traits very, very strongly. You're somebody who, obviously in this past life, you were a very strong woman, okay? If you are a man watching this or you're a woman and you think, no, I was a man or a woman in my past life, you know, I was someone different, then don't worry, guys, this is just my interpretation, okay? And also, if you are a man in, in this life now, it doesn't matter, you can be a different gender in another life, from what I believe in, you know? Also, you help people to let go. You help people to let go and to trust in their life and to know that their, their path will come. It's definitely giving like strong Moana vibes, you know? If any of you watch Moana with the grandmother and she reincarnates into a, a stingray spirit, very, very strong energy like that. It's like the mothering energy, the, almost the weirdo of the, of the group that everyone kind of tries to stay away from, but they actually really want to talk to them because they're so interesting and they have so much knowledge. And you've been through a lot in your life. You've been through so much, but it's made you stronger. And you've battled so many freaking demons that everyone saw you as somebody who was so powerful and very, almost like a magician, almost like a witch, a witchy person, but in a really lovely way, you know? No one like shun you or anything like that. Shun? Shun? Something like that. I think that's the right word. That's just what they're telling me. So you almost the sort of person that would be, like you would touch people and you would heal them straight away, 100%. And you could also be very knowledgeable about crystals and astrology and then looked at the stars and thought, we're gonna have a clear night tonight or we're gonna have a, a good day tomorrow because you were looking at the stars and you think, okay, it's gonna be a really good time because you know, it's full moon, you know. It's, it was very spiritual, very connected to the earth elements and the air elements but all the elements okay all the elements um i want to pick actually an animal that you also are very connected to i'm just redrawn to pick another animal card so the grasp of spirit take a leap of faith so you help people to take leaps of faith you help people to just jump into things when they weren't sure about it you gave people confidence and you also were somebody, as I say, who was ruling, you ruled over your people, but in a really lovely way, you were like the people, you weren't any, you weren't higher or lower, you didn't see yourself as that, you saw yourself as just part of the tribe. You also love music, okay? You also really, really love music, drums and violins, guitars, you just love anything that just made a noise, okay? So drums are really, really something that you loved. I feel like you also could have been drawing on the cave, on cave walls as well but part of the tribe i don't see you being a cave woman i see you being more um evolved than the cave and than cave people okay also i see with this grass of spirit as i say you could have seen yourself as someone quite small when you were younger but then as you got older you're like actually i am quite wise i am quite wise <laughs> okay so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you would like to get a private read of me my information is down below i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so we have the gorgeous peacock ball as i have said in other groups as the two groups before is that these past lives will be about human beings okay so they won't be reincarnated into an animal I won't be feeling into that it'll be about a human being okay guys because that is what i was drawn to do by spirit so i'm going to start off with the personality portion of the reading so if this resonates with you then that's great if not then choose another pile or maybe this reading with you so we have, you are never alone. Koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. And we also have the hermit. Four of pentacles, the tower, and the knight of cups. So you are most likely somebody who's very, very, possibly insecure quite a lot of the time. You feel like relationships are very, very important to you. Very, very, very important, okay? Um, you connect with people the most out of anyone else, out of anything else, 
anything out anything that you anything is very heartfelt so you don't you're not very money driven i feel like you're very driven by people animals um in terms of when i say driven by animals i mean you love animals you just love spending time with them you love spending time with people and you also love relationships you love kind of anything to do with connecting with another soul you could have virgo very prominently in your chart or could be a virgo or just very have virgo like qualities you could also have water sign water qualities in your chart you could most likely be a scorpio as well because you have the tower it's kind of making me feel like a very intense energy with this clear out the clutter you are somebody who people may have avoided in your life okay so you could be somebody who's quite unique and people almost try to avoid you because you're so weird <laughs> um but it could also be because you're somebody who shines a light not obviously literally like a torch i mean like people see something in you and they feel insecure within themselves and therefore you possibly have had quite a few issues in your relationships and not really sure why okay you could also very much connect with otters koalas or frogs or horses um i feel like you are very connected to fantasy you love like the hobbit star trek star wars harry potter anything with people wearing cloaks you love that okay you could also very, be very much connected with the um what's this called the person who who represents death um the cloaked man with the the sword thingy <laughs> totally got out of my head i can't remember what he's called but you could be quite interested in that sort of entity um you're definitely somebody who could feel alone quite a lot you love people's company it's just very very important to you and i definitely feel like you're somebody who likes you also like your own time though like you also like to be on your own so you are like kind of you're introverted but you're extra kind of extroverted but you're more introverted and it's kind of confusing you do get confused quite easily as well by situations or people because you suck up their energy um you're also somebody who likes to chill at home a lot of the time um you're somebody who with money you you like to have a lot of it or you enjoy spend enjoy saving it because you like to have that security i don't think you really some of you don't really enjoy saving it though some of you really don't like saving it but you love spending it i mean who doesn't love spending money i mean that's kind of obvious um you're somebody who is possibly living in a town or a city currently and you possibly want to live in the countryside or somewhere where there's more nature and you're very connected to i'm hearing like the old ways what does that mean what do you mean by the old ways like times when you didn't have cars and things you kind of want to go back to that because the world was the world was treated so much nicer i feel like where there was tribes and things like that i feel like you could feel like you want to be part of a tribe you want your own tribe you want to be connected to others and it's it feels hard for you at the moment does that make sense you could also have a tattoo or a tattoo on your back you could also have a tattoo even on your head, neck, forehead, uh, fingers, toes. I'm getting a, a tattoo on the elbow, which is very interesting. And you could also connect with fish. Very strongly, you love fish. You could like eating fish, salmon, that sort of thing, cod. <laughs> um, what else? You could also, it's actually the tower. Something about destruction. I feel like you're somebody who likes to you're reborn and born again very easily you're very good at recreating yourself you could also have quite a few different identities through your life in set, well, very strong ones that, that, not somebody who's you have grown but you also could have gone through quite a different stage in terms of like being an emo and or a goth and then like somebody who is like almost like a, dressed like more like a hippie you know and then more dressed like somebody who I don't know i'm getting lots of different people and you like to dress up possibly as well and maybe go to comic con things like that very nerdy things so if that doesn't resonate with you guys or if that doesn't really sound like you even just a little bit then this may not be the reading for you but for those of you who are connected with it let's get started with your puff life reading Woo! let's have a look and see what's going on okay group three let's see what happened for you guys in a past life wow that is so stunning with the lovers because we literally had my love card which i, I think that's so gorgeous very very similar energies i love that and oh my god 
Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. They're both the number six. That's crazy. We have six and four and two is six. Whoa. That's crazy. I'm gonna leave this card out because I love that. This may also be in the reverse. I think it's the reverse here. There we go. So it's gonna be whoa, give me a clue what's going on. Okay, so two of swords, four of swords, king of cups. Okay, and then we also have children. Resistance, connection. Wow, there's a lot of connecting with people in this. Unfolding. Let me show you it's more like that. Unfolding. And we also have begin. Okay, so your life was very interesting. I feel like you were. I'm hearing a young, I'm hearing a young boy. And you got married when you were very young, but you really wanted to get married. You found your love at a very young age. So maybe in the life you are now, maybe you're the sort of person who feels lonely or really just loves relationships or connection, that you possibly feel like that because you may have had a relationship very early on in life, in this past life. You could even have a, another one in this life, again, like very early on in life. You could have had a relationship very early on in life. You were, I think, an, I'm, I'm seeing an, mm, okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to pinpoint the country I'm feeling. Uh, okay, I'm hearing Aborigine child in a tribe. Um, so you're a little boy, you have um, brown, like a dark, dark tinted skin. Very gorgeous, I love this, so stunning. Um, very sweet personality you, you just love to connect with people you could have started like a club like with other children and you're somebody who people um looked up to a lot looked up to like a lot and even when you were very young people looked up to you people trusted you and you could have had children when you were very young <clears throat> as well Oh my god, I literally didn't even realise I was holding a children card. You love the water. You loved it. Absolutely love the water. Um, and you were born in a very hot country as well. And I don't know where this is. I'm not, I don't, I'm not getting a pinpoint, but I'm feeling the rainforest. Rainforest is very important. So possibly I'm Brazil. Brazil. Um, yeah, Brazil. I'm feeling Brazil. I'm here in the Amazon rainforest, so you could have been born there. So if you feel a very strong connection to the Amazon rainforest, that's possibly why you have this. Um, you're somebody who may have sacrificed himself for others because you just love people and you love, you're very empathic, you know, you're very soft and you just love connecting with people. And your relationship was your everything. Your relationship was your absolute everything. And you could have had, is there, there's telling me something about the partner and they could have passed away when you were quite young. They could have even passed away when you were in your 20s. Okay, you're, I'm getting a male female relationship and the woman passed away when you were about 27 or they could be about 27 when they passed away. And it was very horrible for you, but it, it caused you to, to transform into this extremely strong person who was a guide for others and that could have helped others in their relationships as well. In terms of resistance, what's this? So you could have been somebody who resisted change a lot. And once you made your home, you didn't want to move anywhere, okay? So possibly when the tribe was wanting to move to another place, you didn't really want to move because you're quite stubborn. <laughs> um, this unfolding card, your, your life was basically like a spiral. It basically, a lot of things came back around again for you to learn. And you're very aware of this. Like at a young age, you're really, really aware of this. And as soon as you came into the tribe, everyone knew you were a, like almost a, a very precious child, a very, very precious um, individual who um, was very cared for so strongly. With this two of swords, I feel like you could have had quite a lot of battles in your life that you had to deal with, um, that was mainly in your head, I feel like. You possibly could have had some sort of mental health issue, obviously before it was called men mental health back then, it was just, but you were very aware of it because you were such an intellectual person, 
life was kind of hard for you because you thought in a way that other people didn't but you were extremely enlightened and I feel like you could have helped people to connect with their heart chakra in a way I feel like it would have been through music and singing bowls or a certain bowl that made music but I'm hearing clapping I'm hearing like clapping and singing and it's like little kids and they're all it's got this like music club and it's really really cute and they all like meet up in the tribe and they're all doing dancing and just turning it up <laughs> yeah so yeah i really do feel like you're very connected to trees and obviously i'm hearing oxygen as well and trees make oxygen so that makes sense you just love fresh air you love just freshness nature is so important to you yeah you love children you absolutely love them so when you, you definitely had a child with your partner, I'm feeling at least like five or six children, even seven with this partner. And I'm at a young age, I'm feeling you could have had your first child at 19. Okay, so that is the reading. I really hope this resonates for you guys. If you would like a private reading, um, I, I am looking to do past life reading. So if you'd like a past life reading, which would be much more in depth than this, um, then please let me know. Um, please Instagram message me or email me if you'd like a private reading. Also, I have a new Instagram, which is all dedicated to pick cards and tarot. So if you'd like to have a look at that, then please do. Also, please don't forget to uh, comment down below, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. So we're going to start off with the personality portion of the reading. This is the group who chose the titanium aura quartz, titanium covered. So stunning. So let's have a look and see what your personality is like, and then we'll have a look into the um past life portion if this resonates with you then this should be your past life or close to it you know this is a general reading so we have the buffalo spirit number 10 peacock spirit let it shine and we also have the mouse spirit tend to small things getting very strong taurus vibes from this and if you're not a taurus that's totally fine guys it's just what i'm feeling okay so we have the emperor nine of cups six of swords and three of swords okay so for you guys you are a leader okay you love to lead or you like to have things in control okay you're somebody who could have had a lot of heartbreak in your life you know in this life now um or you could have felt heartbroken by a particular dominant male i'm feeling a father figure or somebody who was close to a father very dominating they could have been very dominating to you um, you're somebody who is very much connected to possibly the buffalo spirit, peacocks or mice. Um, you're somebody who is acts quite small but what, dreams really big, okay? You're somebody who, who needs to learn to come out of your shell more and possibly just express yourself more creatively, in work, you know, do things that you really, really want to do. And then with the Emperor, I think you could be an Aries. You could have uh, Aries, Pisces, Sag, um, all the fire signs I'm feeling. Capricorn, Gemini, Libra. So possibly all the, I'm um, pretty much all the signs, okay? Um, you're somebody who doesn't like conflict, okay? You like to move away from conflict as much as possible. And you're somebody who's very family orientated. If you don't have a family already and you're quite young, then I feel like you want a family, you know? You're somebody who just wants to enjoy life. You're somebody who's pretty content. I feel like this group doesn't really have a lot of anxiety or they're very good at coping with their anxiety if they do have it. Um, you're not really prone to depression. You're somebody who's, who lives life basically as it is in the moment. You're very chilled. I feel like you're very, very chilled. And yeah, is there anything else I need to say? You possibly express yourself through your, through your clothing as well. You're very happy-go-lucky, free spirit, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like some of you, this is only for some of you, you can see people's auras and jewellery. You love wearing jewellery, especially like bangles. Um, I'm, hearing a head, I'm, I'm hearing a headscarf, so you may wear a headscarf or scarves around your neck. Um, I'm hearing saris as well, so you could wear a sari. Um something that's very very close to your culture like you wear something that's very significant to your culture or religion is there anything else i'm getting a lot of hin hindu kind of references so you could be uh you could have a religion hinduism buddhism 
and it's getting religion so you could just be quite religious or you could just like religion or anything to do with religion that sort of thing yeah but that's obviously only for some of you it doesn't if some of it doesn't resonate that's totally fine guys but if a lot of it resonated that's great then let's move on to the past life portion okay group number four let's have a look and see who were you in a past life and as I said in the other groups, this is basically just human beings. I'm not tuning into animals or any of that, that sort of thing. So if you believe in reincarnation, like I do, uh, I am generally just going towards human beings, okay? And as you were in a past life, okay? Wow, this is looking really gorgeous. We have the wheel, the world, the moon. Oh, well, well we have a lot of major arcana. The wheel, the world, the moon, the hermit, justice. That's crazy. You have a lot of strong energy. Wow, passion. Yeah, hundred percent. Definitely Aries qualities here. Okay, we just have passion, cosmos, and self-love. Right. So you are definitely someone who loved justice. Like you love the justice system. So let's see about a timeline then. So you are a male, very strong male. Um, and as I believe you can actually reincarnate into a different gender so you know if you're a female watching this and you're like I'm not a man <laughs> or I'm not a male um, that's totally fine I just feel like you possibly were a male in a past life or you could have had just quite quite masculine qualities very like strong you're somebody who was definitely outside of the box you're somebody who doesn't look like who you are on the outside you could have worked in like an office but you wanted to explore the world you're somebody who's very free-spirited you know this is matching up to your your personality that i was looking into as well so you have a lot of fire sign qualities a lot of sag as well like somebody who loves to explore and loves to create and i'm not getting a timeline i'm not getting really any timeline I mean, it feels quite modern to me so this feels like yeah, and it almost feels like, I don't know, I'm feeling like 50 years ago, but it doesn't feel too old. This person who I'm connecting to feels very modern, you know. Um, you're somebody who is a star child, star being. Okay, you basically were somebody who possibly worked in law, or you did something to do with the law, and you were always on I'm hearing you I was always in the wrong like no one ever really listened to me I feel like you you weren't respected in your field and therefore no one really listened to you you could have predicted the future just because you were so intuitive and no one really listened to you um yeah I'm really not getting a timeline guys I'm sorry but I'm really just connected to a male about 30 and yeah i'm actually feeling which is really strange for some of you the 80s i'm actually feeling the 80s which is so interesting but not for all of you i'm not really getting a timeline but i am hearing the 80s as well i'm seeing someone like a really big suit with big shoulder pads but you may not actually have been in the 80s you could have i mean i'm getting some really interesting timelines so for you guys, I'm seeing France. For you guys, I feel like you could have been in France. You could have been born in France, been French. Ooh la la, they're saying. Um, and you're somebody who, as I say, very, very strong star child. Like you were, you were very intuitive, but there wasn't really a word for it back then, where, where whenever back then is. Um, I'm getting the 1940s, 50s as well. And as I said, I'm keeping this general, guys, because this is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, then that's totally fine. You're definitely somebody who always looked at the time. You're always counting the time. Time was going by fast, so fast. And you had like kind of like an old man perspective on life. You were like, oh, time is always going so fast. And, you know, it feels so, like, why is time going so fast? And you always saw the person that tried to blend in with everyone as well. Like, I'm seeing just grey suits. You wore a grey suit. Everything was very bland and boring, but you were this person. This is so interesting they guided me to this card. You were a sort of person who looked like a normal human being, but, but underneath this outer shell, you were just this gorgeous shining light. And you were somebody who 
was very open to somebody who was, who was to listen, but you hid yourself very strongly because you knew that a lot of people wouldn't understand you, okay? Yeah, you could have been, oh, this is interesting. I'm actually hearing Victorian times, a time where they had oil lamps. So if the, the time that I haven't already said resonates or feels right to you, I'm hearing, I'm here in the 1900s as well, which is so interesting. I'm sorry, guys, I'm getting so many different time frames. But I'm feeling just a mad grey suit, big shoulder pads. Or he just feels like a very big figure. I thought like you could have been very tall as well. Very tall, at least over six foot and over. I feel like that's what made you feel so different. Because I feel like you were very, very tall. You were too tall. And people almost picked on you, especially when you were younger. Okay? And it caused you to create a lot of self-love for yourself. Because a lot of people picked on you. But you had such a big passion for life. You had such a big passion to change the world. Um, and you were an inventor. You love to invent things. You love to invent and create. And make and move and shift and change. I feel like you really loved cars as well. So anything to do with cars was like a massive thing for you. Anything to do with engines and workings and things like that. Possibly even plumbing. But I feel more to do with like quite high technology, high techie techie. <laughs> um, yeah, you're somebody who, I feel like with the justice, because you got picked on when you were younger, I feel like that's why you want justice, because you want things to be fair. You could have a Libra quite high in the chart as well. Somebody who just wants to create freedom for other people and to understand that not everything is as it seems. And you were like, why won't you believe me? I'm hearing, why won't you believe me? I'm hearing that constantly. You're always shaking people like, why won't you believe me? Um, and that's probably why you went to the justice system or you went into a time where you had, had to make a lot of contracts, somebody who was in charge of like a law firm kind of company thing. And yeah, I'm definitely feeling Victorian times, French. Yeah, definitely feeling that now. Cause I have a bike here, I don't know if you can really see it. There's a bike and I'm really connected with that. And it makes me feel like just old times. Yeah, I'm really feeling that guys. The Cancerian energy here is quite strong too very strong energy you, you were just like I just want to be different I just want people to see me as someone who's different I want to be accepted I just want to be accepted I just want to be accepted I'm hearing you to repeat that constantly I want to be accepted I want to be accepted I want to be I want to be different but people won't let me be different people won't let me go out of my box they won't let me go out of my shell you know they won't let me create I just want to create people are talking down to me you know and this person is saying like I can't create what I want to create because there's not enough resources wow this is gorgeous wow okay so it also shapes um I'm hearing asymmetry asymmetric um I'm hearing like mathematics as well you love like anything to do with I'm hearing karma as well I'm not sure why I'm hearing karma but you love like shapes and drawings and just oh I love it I'm hearing architecture as well, so you just love to create things and blueprints, you love blueprints and... So if you're the sort of person who likes creating things, and you're very creative, and you possibly like Lego or Jenga, that's the thing where you can build stuff, That is, this is definitely the group for you, because I feel like this person who I'm connected to just loves to make things, I feel like you carried that on and on into this life. Yeah, so I I'm, hearing, I'm hearing this, if you feel like you're very different and you don't fit in, then this is possibly who you were in a past life because it possibly could have carried on. And it's learned to love yourself, I feel like. Yeah. Or you could have had a lot of confidence in this life, in the, sorry, in your past life, and you could have been broken down by other people. And therefore, in this life, now you could feel not very confident with, with yourself. I'm also getting like a Lenny. You know, uh, Lenny from... Um, of mice and men and I think we had the mouse didn't we didn't we have had the mice card I don't know where I put it but we did have a mice card somewhere did we I swear we did I don't know but I'm getting of mice and men and you could have been felt like Lenny where he was just someone who was possibly just a large man this is a large man in the past life guys a large man who just felt different you know he just felt different and I'm getting that kind of feeling of I could feel people judging me, but I'm not sure if they are, you know, that sort of thing. I feel like you could have also been uh, almost like Sheldon from Big Bang Theory and was just extremely intelligent, just extremely intelligent. People made fun of you because of that. Wow, this is so interesting. I'm hearing the words uh, David, the word David, very 
It's David. I don't know why I'm hearing David, but David's coming through. David, David, David. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually hearing the, um, the name David Tennant from the man, uh, the, one of my faves. He is from Doctor Who. I don't know why I'm getting David Tennant. I don't know if he did possibly a Doctor Who that was in the past, in this time frame. I don't know why I'm getting Doctor Who, guys. I don't know, but that's what I'm feeling. So if you feel overwhelmed in this life, just know that this is probably, this could be part of your past life, you know, but this is general reading. Don't take it too seriously, guys. It is just for fun. But if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Please Instagram us if you email and subscribe, like, comment, and I'll speak to you very soon. Hope you like this reading. Much love. Bye.